Okay, let's bring you more now on the Malaysia Airlines flight MH370. Still missing somewhere at sea, we understand. So far, official updates have brought us no closer to finding out what happened on board between Kuala Lumpur and Beijing. As such, many people have been trawling social media for any extra clues, but speculation, frankly, has been rife often misleading. Already, as you might expect on Twitter, there have been uh, wrong information handed out about the location and indeed the condition of the aircraft itself. So much to work through. Well, let's uh, take you over to the world's newsroom and my colleague Daniela Ritorto. Daniela. David, it's exactly that lack of information that's sending, sending so many people uh, frustrated in search of other sources of information, particularly distraught relatives, and many are going to uh, social media sites, including uh, Twitter and uh, Weibo in China. Well, let's uh, have a chat about what has been on some of those sites with uh, UN uh, Wen Wu from uh, BBC World Service, our China specialist, and Sam Barry, the BBC World's uh, social media producer, is here with me as well. Um, UN, we'll start with you. What have you seen uh, on Weibo in particular? It's been overwhelmed with messages, hasn't it? There have been a lot of posting and reposting of messages, pictures of search going on, and stories of the passengers on the plane. Um, up to yesterday, you still see a lot of praying and wishing for a miracle to happen. But I sense that with the passage of time, people are starting to be resigned to the eventual bad news, perhaps, that they are not going to return. So there is a lot of reflection on life, how precious life is. I've seen a lot of postings on, you know, a really treasure what we have because you don't know what will happen to you tomorrow. And something about stop careless driving or playing around with ideas iPhones when you get on the airplane, just think about the safety of others. So a lot of that coming through as we wait for news. Uh, Sam, I think UN's point's key there, isn't it? Very few stories would capture people's imaginations quite like this one. We can all put ourselves in the shoes here. So a lot of people, when they're talking about this on social media, it really has captured the imagination of people and it's really touched um, a nerve with people because a lot of people either get on planes on a daily basis, a monthly basis, or have a loved one that does. So um, they're really um, getting involved in the story. And there's, as you said, there's a bit of a trajectory of what people are saying on social media. It started off in shock and horror and just you know, spreading the news that this had happened. Then it became sympathy, so the hashtag pray for MH370 was trending around the world. And now it's becoming anger and questions. So if you take a news story where the facts are very solid, people use social platforms for conspiracy theories or to talk about angles. When you have a story like this where there's so many open-ended questions, Social media is a breeding ground for sometimes a lot of misinformation as well. So we saw on Saturday um, when this story broke that one of the first things that the Malaysian Airlines had to do was debunk all the rumours that were flying around Twitter that the plane had landed safely, that it had run out of fuel and that's what had happened, that it had crashed. So it is a breeding ground for misinformation as well. Sam, some of the facts that we do know are about who, who was on board and we do know there was a group UN of uh, uh, artists on board who were in uh, Kuala Lumpur. What more do we know about them? We hear reporting uh, from Chinese media that there are 24 artists quite established in their field. They went on to, um, they went over to Kuala Lumpur for an art exhibition and some of them spend a lot of their own money just to be there to, uh, to exchange ideas with fellow artists from other countries and uh, I'm afraid all of these are all of these uh, artists are our passengers on that fateful flight. Okay, UN, thank you very much, Sam. Uh, thanks very much as well. Uh, David, whatever the source of information and where it comes from, I guess we just uh, we want to know the facts and what happened here. Yeah, and let's not forget, really, it's a, it's a human tragedy above all. Daniela, thank you very much indeed for that. Right, let's